What's going on y'all? This is the Beachside RV Park in Crystal Beach, Texas. We are here for Easter week, which is already passed now, but we wanted to stay here and enjoy Crystal Beach for a few weeks. It's not a huge RV park, but it is double the size of the one we stayed in last year. And it has some nice amenities here, like free laundry. The word beachside might be a bit confusing. It's not directly on the beach, it's several blocks away. But Highway 87 right here is the main road right through the Crystal Beach and the Boulevard Peninsula. And this RV park is on the beach side of the highway. It's not on the other side, it's on the beach side. That would be, I guess, the bay side over there. You're the bay side over there. Say hello, say hello to Save by the Bell. T terrible joke. <laughs> Pretty much all of the RV spots here have cement pads. They're not the biggest cement pads, but they work pretty well. You can drive across this grass to get up there. We've got our RV set up with the front level and jacks in the grass, and the back ones and the tires all on the cement pads. You can see our RV down there. These are all the pull-through spots. Then the rest of them are all back in, even these. These are back in at an angle. The ones up against the fence over there are back in at a 90 degree angle. It's like everybody's got power, water, sewer, and a picnic table. Haven't seen any fire rings at any of the sites or any bar barbecue pits. I think you have to bring that on your own. The cost is pretty reasonable. It looks like it's uh, under $600 a month if you stay in the winter months and about $625 if you stay in the summer. As the sign says, and storage. There are storage areas back there as well as a few parking spots. You can see some boats over there. If we want to go to the beach driving, we can drive on this road to that. There's a road right there just past the boats and we can turn left and we can go all the way down to the beach where you can drive your vehicle right on the beach. Just make sure that you get your beach parking sticker for $10 for the whole year. I like the creativity and the custom painting somebody did here. One of the neat things, you can actually have packages shipped here to the office, or you can put down your individual site number. They've said that UPS has been pretty good about bringing your Amazon packages right to your site. There is a dog park which recently reopened. It's got a septic tank that runs basically through it, and they had to close it down while all that was being refreshed, I guess you could say. And there are two gazebos. I'll show you both those gazebos. Nothing really special about them other than it's a screened in place to go sit down, hang out. There's a ceiling fan and just kind of escape the bugs, but be outside. Well, let's go take a look at the laundry, which is also a bathhouse. Right up in, in the corner here near the highway is the dumpster. Not too difficult to get to. Another look at these back end sites. They almost look like the pull-throughs, but that's just because everybody has to drive through the grass. Right here is the bathhouse slash laundry. Now they ask that if you've been to the beach before you go into the shower to use the shower, they want you to come out here and use this shower to get all the sand off. I don't think it's hot water. I think it's just cold. And you have to hold this in order for the water to run. Last night, I helped Kira by doing that. I held it on while she sprayed herself down before she went inside for an official shower. Now I have to watch my head as this is not, it's an old RV trailer and it is not a six foot three door, that is for sure. They've even put an updated code system on here to keep it locked up so that we can keep the stuff inside of there safe. Because as you can see, there is no gated entry here. So if anybody wanted to just walk on in and use the laundry and shower, they could. Now, once you're in here, if you wanted to lock this door, you could because anybody else that needs to use it uh, should know the code before they come in. Here are the free washers and free dryers. You've got two of them. They're fairly new and in good shape. Well, I mean, I don't really count scratch and dents to a washing machine like that being a problem. We've got a free library here with a bunch of free DVDs and Kira and Tanya have absolutely loved all the free cat toys. We'd love to know what the story is behind that. If you need to hang up some shirts or anything while you're 
taking care of your laundry. Fly swatter ready to go. No pets in the building, please. So this is the shower. This is the bathhouse. You got a nice big bench to sit down on. Everything is motion sensor activated. You've got hooks here, hooks over there, hooks behind the door, and you can lock this up two different kinds of ways. So you can really be in here and enjoy your shower and not worry about it. I have tested this to make sure that nobody can see through that. But I like this shower, except for one thing. Well, okay, I'll go with two things. It's a very thin shower curtain. And so it will, I say it attacks me when I'm in the shower. <laughs> I come in the shower and then if I've got it completely closed off and I've got hot water coming in here, the shower curtain likes to come in and get me. It drives me nuts. The other thing is this. At six foot three, it's a little difficult to uh, get under the shower. But it's great pressure and great temperature. As far as I can tell, I've not had any problems running out of hot water yet. Been able to wash my hair, condition my hair, body wash, everything. It's been fairly decent. Looks like somebody had broken the handle, but they've made it work. It, it works. But it's a little bit awkward that the toilet and sink are over there. So when you're done washing, if you like to brush your teeth after, like I do, now I gotta come all the way over here in a separate area. Or if I needed to use the bathroom while I'm taking a shower, that could be a little awkward. What if someone's in here? <laughs> That's very awkward. Man, this dryer, the washer's making more noise than the dryer. I have to touch the dryer and confirm that it's still running. The air conditioner in here, this, these things are so efficient. They work better than RV air conditioners. It gets nice and cold in here. I have literally come over here, just sat down, and looked at my phone while I waited for a load to finish. So here we've got one of the gazebos being guarded by a couple of uh, adorable pelicans carved out of wood. Nice cobblestone, another picnic table, and there's the dog park. Check that out in a minute. Now the other day I was having a hard time getting this door to close. So let's see how this does. Yeah, it's hard to open. And there's no handle on the inside for me to pull it closed. I feel like they probably need to add some kind of a handle right there to pull that closed. Ceiling fans have definitely uh, seen some heat. They're feeling the heat. But this is the larger of the gazebos. You could probably come in here and do a little potluck if you wanted to. Just hang out with your friends. The goal, I guess, was for them to just have a place for you to hang out and try to keep the bugs away. But like I said, just a simple door handle right here so they could pull that closed would be the finishing touch needed. Yeah, when I want to close it now, I have to get it down there it looks like it's dragging right there right there by those ants yep it's right over here is the dog park you can shut and latch the gate it works Daisy in her younger days probably would have been able to hop right over this but at nine going on ten years old she's not really <laughs> she thought about it she looked at the fence and she's like should I jump this is nice that they provide something to pick up a place to put it I've come over here and sat down let Daisy run around the funny thing is Daisy didn't run. She literally just plopped down on the grass. I think she liked this area. You can see where they've done the work on the septic tank over here. And I think that that's a great use of space. I don't understand why some places separate the septic tanks and they don't utilize it for something like a dog run. As long as you don't need to put anything there, just let the dogs run across it. I guess maybe if your dog is digging, that might be a problem. I really do like the custom artwork somebody's done all around here. So it's been a bit of a tight squeeze trying to find where the truck exactly needs to go. Well, last night I was discussing with the manager about parking on these pads that aren't being used. And she actually encouraged it. She said, please do, please park there, especially if they're gonna have the yard, the yard, the lawn maintenance people come out, which is twice a month. She said, please make sure you are parked up there on one of the empty spots. That way that they can take care of mowing everything. I was concerned that about, you know, parking on somebody's spot that possibly would get taken by, you know, maybe somebody's got a reservation. She said, as of right now, she doesn't have any reservations for the spots around us. Park on whichever one we choose. And if a reservation does come in, she'll just come over and let us know. 
hey, somebody just took that spot. Why don't you move your truck to a different one that's available? Thanks, it's very friendly. Excellent staff here. So this is what the a pull through spot looks like. Obviously there was, it was just gravel at some point, but it's overgrown with grass and well, various beautiful weeds. And you can pull it up onto the cement pad. We probably could have left ours further back, but this is the way that uh, we opted to go with it. So I've got our tires as well as these rear jacks on the cement and then the front ones are up in the grass. So this is the other gazebo that is closer to our RV. You can see it right through the screen right there. It is still having a little bit of a problem closing. If you let this one slam, it will get all the way shut. And then that way you can relax, maybe swing on the swing. And there is a fan that, honestly, that fan looks a little bit newer. Let's see how it works. Look at that. So we've got a ceiling fan out here. We've got some plastic Adirondack chairs, or you've got this older bench that goes around the side. Just a nice place to chill. Uh, it is going to be kind of tough to keep the mosquitoes out, though, <laughs> when that's going on. <laughs> that fan's working pretty good. Good job, that fan. I'd still recommend that they put a handle right there. So there is a gate back behind here. I guess I kind of passed it by. But behind this power thing right there, there's a gate you can walk out here to these streets. And if you come over here to Skyline Drive, you've got a straight shot walking or bicycle all the way down to the beach. It is a good good walk. It's not something you can quickly walk to. Yeah, you can walk down there. They've got porta potties on the beach, places for trash. Whatever you'd like to do down there. I think for us though, it's easier if we take that street out here past the storage and then just drive down that street all the way. Back here by the storage, you've got more of these RVs that are kind of at a 90 degree angle. They're still on cement pads. And they've got a fence back there that divides them from the other side. This park does offer free Wi-Fi. It's nothing to boast about though. I'd say about three megabytes down and maybe one megabyte up. They've got plenty of Wi-Fi hotspots. They just don't have the speed to go behind it to help make it worthwhile. T-Mobile in the past has worked well for us here. Well, at Crystal Beach, we were maybe two miles, two or three miles further to the east than this. When we got here, T-Mobile was iffy, so we got out the Starlink and set that up, and that's been pretty solid for us. I want to take a look at one of these spots that's a 90 degree backing with a fence. So the fence is there, I guess, for privacy, but you can literally walk straight through if you want. Say your buddy is staying on the other side, you could just kind of slip right through here and be on the other side. Interesting choice, I guess. One of the things though that would be a little bit more difficult for me is the sewer hookup on these because now it has to be all the way at the back. So that would mean I'd probably have to have some extra hoses to make sure I could hook up in one of these spots. I want to wish my Aunt Louise a happy 29th birthday. She turned 29 today on the 60th of March. Happy, happy birthday! birthday.